Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and get started. And by way of welcoming, uh, my name is Tim Keller, Mayor of Albuquerque, New Mexico. I want to welcome everyone who's here with us today. Uh, it's uh, special for me because I know many of our students, and primarily I'm going to be uh, talking to our students as a heads up, but most of you are from all over the state. Uh, some of you, of course, right here in the Duke City. But uh, a little bit about Albuquerque. I think we all are familiar with the Duke City and whether it's like going to an isotopes game or shopping at Coronado or, you know, often even medical care. There's like reasons why everyone in New Mexico comes to Albuquerque. And so uh, for us too, uh, a lot of different things with respect to education because of the University of New Mexico, uh, we also like to do a lot around higher education. And so for me, as uh, the mayor of a city, it's not something that usually mayors really get that involved with. And that's kind of for good reason, because obviously uh, our higher educational institutions are run by the state and uh, other entities. But one thing we really like to do is demonstrate this concept of one Albuquerque. And what that means with respect to, especially students from all around the state, is uh, we believe that we're all in this together in New Mexico. And it just so happens kind of by default that Albuquerque, because of what I mentioned, is an important piece of the higher education puzzle, kind of no matter how you cut it. Uh, it could be even though we have amazing community colleges uh, throughout the state and branch schools around the state, but we also have central New Mexico who's here too. So, you know, it just really is kind of the nexus of higher education in New Mexico. And so because of that, we also want to make sure that we partner with wonderful foundations like the Daniels Foundation uh, and our institutional partners like UNM and CNM and try and do whatever we can to showcase the values of higher education uh, for everyone in New Mexico. Uh, and maybe even if we do a good job, we're also pulling folks in from like Texas and Colorado. So we try and do that too. And so for us, we also know that higher education is very, very important. And I know uh, students and um, family and supporters who are here I think we all understand at a high level basic things about like why college is good uh, and, and, and that it's you know, correlated to all of these successes in life down the road. So those are all true and of course I want to recognize those and honor that concept that is in many ways tied to the American dream. Uh, sometimes maybe not so good when we think of college debt, but uh, education is truly a way to lift us up and us as a community, also us as individuals. Now, there's another piece to this, too, that is also a little bit that I wanted to share. Uh, higher education or college, or even if it's in a community um, uh, college situation where it's about uh, learning a particular trade, like our film industry and a certificate program, or especially in IT and technology, a lot of these are around coding and certifications. All of these experiences, I think, are very, very different than high school because you get to choose. The great thing about higher ed is most of the time you get to pick your path, right? This is the first time in your lives, probably, not always, but probably where you actually get to sort of define where you want to go next as opposed to your parents doing that for you or maybe even where you live just because in your particular location there's X amount of things to do. Higher education uh, is a way for you to take control of your future and that is a really cool thing in and of itself no matter what you choose or whether it works out or it doesn't work out I would argue even going through that process and part of in many ways adulthood uh, it's about uh, taking control of your particular future and uh, choosing, hopefully choosing, a life that you want to, to lead on your own terms, whatever those terms may be. So that to me, I think, is another piece I wanted to share with you that is very, very important uh, that is you know, a little less about like grades and academics and jobs. It's also about your own personal development. And it's a very, very special thing. So uh, with that, to hear a little bit more about some of these initiatives, uh, I do want to introduce um, the president and CEO of the Daniels Fund. And uh, we've been able to work a little bit together. And uh, Linda, why don't you come up and uh, share with us a few thoughts. And let's give her a round of applause. Thank you, Mayor Keller. This is a fun day for us because this is the day that we put letters in the mail telling all of the finalists whether they made it or they didn't. So it's also a hard time of the year for us because it means not everybody that we've met and fallen in love with is going to make it. So the Daniels one started in 2000 when Bill Daniels passed away. And since that time, we have, we have awarded 
1,000 scholarships, which is a pretty amazing number when you think about it. And today, uh, Mayor, we're so happy to have you host us here, but we kind of fibbed a little bit when we invited you all here because what we're doing here today is having an opportunity to tell those of you who are finalists. Who was the finalist? Who interviewed? Okay, now raise your own hand and say, I'm a scholar. I'm in. <laughs> so. We always say on days like this that we would give anything for Bill Daniels to be with us, to have an opportunity to see the amazing young people that he's been able to help. So you guys are all rock stars, and we can't wait to work with you. My name is Tyler Luxage, and I'm from Cimarron High School. I am planning to go into biology with an emphasis in pre-med. And I've looked at both CSU Pueblo and UNM, and I think I'm leaning more towards UNM. Just stay true to New Mexico. And I'm really looking forward to this opportunity because it's just, it's a dream come true. I get to have all these advantages put in front of me and it's a leadership program that I want to be a part of. And I want to be a leadership. So I'm so thankful for the Daniels Fund to give me this opportunity. So I was told that I was coming here for a higher education meeting and I was really excited. They said I got invited because I was a Downs finalist. I didn't know really what to expect besides that except for a meeting. And I was, I, I was surprised because they let us know and I, I think it was good. It, it was a fun way to let us all know and I'm really happy that they did it this way. My name is Asia Lujan. Um, I go to Highland High School and I plan on going to the University of Washington to study um, pre-med, um, which I hope will lead me to pharmacy school. I got an email um, under the influence that it was um, talking about New Mexico and their secondary education and kind of like the impact it has on Albuquerque and kind of the whole state. Um, but I got here and I got told that I am a Daniels finalist, a uh, Daniels scholar. I'd like to thank my mom first. Uh, she pushed me to be the person I am today. She had the biggest impact um, on my education and encouraging me to be um, the type of scholar I am. Um, and then my counselor, Ms. Zerp, she helped me a lot along the way, getting me all the information I need. And then my uh, gifted teacher, Mr. Coffey, he really encouraged me to apply to the scholarship and helped me with lots of my essays and um, helped push me along the way when I got disencouraged.